Yo, what's going on, guys? Tan my ear for simple snippets, and welcome back to the 13th video tutorial of the web development course wherein we are using Bootstrap framework along with HTML and CSS to develop a complete portfolio static website right from the scratch. So, if you followed this entire tutorial series up until now, what we've done is we've completely developed the home page. So, as you can see on the screen, this is our entire home page from top to bottom, and we've completely developed it. If you watch the entire previous video tutorials in this playlist. If not, I will drop the link of this playlist in the video description and you can also probably see a card. And in this video tutorial, we are going to be developing the about us section. That is the about us page. Now, if you go on the about us page by clicking on this link, you can see there is nothing on this page as of now. We only have the complete header and the footer. So the header is the navigation and this is the navy blue footer. So this is common on all pages and we had copy pasted it on all the pages that we have. So if you go on contact us, you can see the URL is changing but we have the header and footer but nothing else. So right now we are on about us. Let's try to develop this page right from the scratch completely. Now before we get on to the code, let me just show you the actual website and the actual about us page and how it looks like. So this is our original website and here I'm going to go to the about us page and there you go. You can see this is our about us page. So it's not a very big page. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do it in one single video. Let's analyze this page. On the top we have this light silver gray section which is having the header of about us and there is a small navigation kind of scenario over here. Now this is called the breadcrumbs. Basically what breadcrumbs are is a link of navigation. So right now on the website you've traversed from home page to the about us page, right? So it can be depicted like this. If you go one more page inside, let's say we had sub pages from about us. So there would be one more slash and then sub page. For example, in the services, if you go in the web design, it will be home slash services slash web design. Okay. So this is what is called as breadcrumbs. Then we have again a container over here. You can see by now just by observing you can tell that this is a container. If I do F12 and if I right click and inspect element, you can see this is a container which has two divisions in a three and nine split. Okay. Then we have one column which has the entire title. After that we have this subscribe to newsletter which was also there on the about us section. So we will directly use it. Then we have the our team section which has the different images. But again, if you see this kind of setup is similar to the home page, which is similar to like this, right? So this section can be directly used over here in the about us. We just have to change the images, the text in the heading and the paragraph text. And then at the bottom, we have the trusted client section. Now again, this was also there on the home page. So we will directly copy paste that also. So there's not a lot of development in terms of new development on the about us page. A lot of things are copy pasted because we've already developed the entire home page. So we are not going to waste the time developing those individual sections. But other than that, we only have to develop these two sections. That is the top one. So let's start off with developing these two sections quickly and then we'll copy paste the other sections from the home page onto our about us page. A quick disclaimer again, you cannot use logos of companies without their consent, without their official letter, wherein they are allowing you guys to use the logos. So if you are working on an official website, a live website, and if you have some clients, make sure you communicate it with them and ask for their logos and tell them that you want to use their logos on and only after their confirmation, you can use it. I've just used it for demonstration purpose. So with that being said, let's start off with the development coming to the code. This is the default.html page. Let's go to about.html that is about us.html and here you can see we have the header and we have the footer. We've already developed that. So let's start off with the first section, which is this breadcrumb section. So I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to say section. Let's give it a class of breadcrumb section. Okay. We will use this class to add a little bit of styling. Inside that you can see what we have is a container, a row and a column which takes 12 spaces because we don't have any division to split things. So let's add that. So I've added the responsive grid system by container row and column. Then we have a h2 tag. So let's add the h2 tag. Let's see on our website what is happening. There you go. You can see the about us is added just like this. Now to add these breadcrumbs, we have some inbuilt classes again in bootstrap. And this is the trend that we've been following so far. We have some inbuilt classes which we are directly applying. So if you right click on this and if you say inspect element, you can see that this is an ordered list ol and the class is breadcrumb. Okay. Inside that we have two list items which are breadcrumb hyphen items. 
again breadcrumb hyphen item and this is an active because we are on about us right so it has to be active and inside that again we have anchor tags which point to the actual website so if you click on home it will be redirected to the home page coming back to about us that's how it works so let's add this OLLI structure so coming to the code I'm just gonna add it at once and you can see this is that structure you can pause the video and quickly type it out and don't worry guys I'm gonna be sharing all the code files all the images all the resources in the video description so you can get everything by checking out the video description also so this is the ordered list inside that we have two list items with these respective classes of breadcrumb and breadcrumbs so this is breadcrumb and not crumb okay so let's see how it looks like and we have added the anchor tag also so coming to our website there you go you can see it is already added now you can see there is a slight background color which is also added so this comes by default with this class so what we'll do is we'll try to match this same color for the entire section so i'm gonna right click on it and inspect element and you can see when i select the ol class which has the breadcrumbs class if i just select this and if i scroll down you can see this is that color e9 e C E F. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this in our style.css I will come down so this is all the styling for the home page that we've done I've added a comment of end of home page and start of about us page over here I'm just going to paste this code right now I'm going to come back to the about us page I'm going to copy this class come over here hit enter I'll say dot then the class name that's how you add classes inside that I'm going to say background color is this slight silver color and now you can see there you go you can see that entire section got the color so it's not visible now and it is kind of blending in so if you observe this is our actual website and this is the one that we are developing there is some padding difference so we'll add some padding and of course we are going to add dynamic padding i'm going to add padding to the container i'm going to see p hyphen sm hyphen 3 so there you go so once we go below sm that is small devices i'm gonna say p1 okay so i hope you know how to add dynamic padding and dynamic margin these are responsive spacing utilities we've had a dedicated video in the previous video actually of this series so if you don't know how to add responsive margin and responsive padding you can check that previous video okay so this section is pretty much done let's move ahead now the next section is kind of like a welcome section wherein you will give some information about your company so we will be saying welcome to simple snippets or welcome to xyz whatever your company name is and there will be some information about your company when it started what is your goal what is your motto right you have your company logo or what you can do is you can have your ceo's information ceo's image and some message from your ceo what is your goal of the company and so on and so forth you can do different kind of variations right now we'll just try to replicate this so let's get started so i'm gonna enter and i'm gonna add one more section I'm gonna give class of about company okay I'm gonna say about company section inside that you can see we have a heading tag with a horizontal rule let's actually inspect this so we have one row we have a column which takes 12 spaces and then we have call md3 and call md9 so let's do this scenario I'm just gonna copy this entire thing and paste it over here and I'm gonna remove this breadcrumb thing this is about simple snippets there will be a hr tag so this is how it looks like now we want this in the center so i'm gonna say text hyphen center so the text comes in the center let's go back to this okay so the top section is done let's add two more columns now these are going to be called md3 And this is going to be called md9 so the total is going to be 12 inside this we have an image so i'm going to say img src and right now i don't have that image in our folder let's go to the code folder so inside the img you can see i don't have that image so what i'll do is i'll add an image to this that is in the images folder so let's do that okay so there you go new logo black is the actual image let's go and add that image in the images folder we have new logo black and of course it has to have a class of img fluid to make it responsive so there you go you can see that image is added we don't need the horizontal rule over here okay so the image is added and here we need some text in p tag 
okay so we need to add some text we can copy paste this entire text but what you can do is if you type in lorem and if you hit tab you can see a complete paragraph which is a dummy paragraph is typed in now if you go and try to read this it will take you few years to understand what is written because obviously there is no meaning this is basically dummy text lorem ipsum which is kind of like a placeholder text which is used by a lot of web developers to fill in some text okay so if you don't have any description what are you going to do right you need some dummy text to fill in and to show up right so in that case you type in this text so i'm going to copy paste this one more time over here let's see how it looks like so there you go you can see it has added two times i'm going to paste it one more time so let's have three paragraphs and there you go now it is looking pretty good if you come on the actual website this is how it looks like and this is our website so it looks pretty much the same so now let's move on to the next section which is this subscribe to our newsletter to stay updated section now if you come on the home page we have this exact same section over here subscribe to our newsletter so what we'll do is we'll directly copy paste this into our code so going to the code into the default.html page let's scroll down and let's go to the subscribe to the newsletter section and this is that complete section which is subscribe to our newsletter i'm just directly going to copy paste this just copy this from here come to the about us so this is the entire section of about company just minimize it hit enter and paste it over here now if you come on to our website in the about us page there you go you can see directly everything is added over here and this is exactly what we want right you can reduce the padding over here to 2 and this also to 2 now it looks pretty neat just like the actual website let's see what we have more on the about us page now we have this our awesome team so this is exactly identical to the home page qualities section right so i'm going to copy paste this also from the default.html or you can also do it from our services section so i'm just going to minimize this just copy this entire thing hit enter and paste now if you see our about us section you can see our best in class services is added so we just need to change the text to our awesome team so i'm just going to change the text over here and i'm also going to add some images into our original folder code folder so let me do that so inside the images folder i'm going to add a sub folder of team which has these six image icons this is my face also but i'm not going to use it and then i will replace the image src's these src's with that actual face images like ceo hr intern java developer and so on okay so i will change the text also to this text so let me do that and then i'll show you how it looks like because this is just simply changing the text you can do it easily so i'm not going to waste a lot of time over here okay so there you go i have changed all the images i've added all the new text so this is all placeholder text i've added some names and some designations and this is going to be our awesome team looks pretty good right you can also add actual images of your actual team and you can add some message also from your team if you want to elaborate what you can do is you can do this kind of hierarchy 3 and 9 split for every team member so team member photo will come over here and some message from him or her will come over here okay so if you see this is the code and this is exactly the copy from the default.html so this is exactly the copy and i've used the same classes also image fluid qualities hyphen image now this qualities hyphen image is to make that image smaller with 200 pixel width then this is the responsive padding and then the actual source of the image okay so it's pretty same compared to what we did and now the only one last thing on the about us page is the trusted client section again we can directly pick this from the default.html so you can see a lot of development time is saved when we have already developed one entire big page things become very simple over here so this is that client section so i'm just going to copy this come to about us about the footer i'm just going to paste it okay so there you go you can see we have added our client section also which was directly copy pasted from the home that is from the home page which is this one we just pasted it over here and we got it and now we have completed our about us page so if you go on our original website if you go on the about us page if you scroll down this is the last part that was left and comparing it with our website that we are developing we've completed the development of about us page again quick disclaimer you cannot use logos of actual companies if you have not worked for them and if you don't have some official acknowledgement from them saying that you can use our logos don't use any logos unnecessarily in your live website that could land you in trouble and this is just for representation purpose so the one last thing that is left is we have to check this web page how it looks like on a mobile phone right we have not checked that so let's minimize this web page and let's see how it looks like 
on a mobile phone and the break point is md right so after we go from a md device to a small device that is from a medium device to small device everything will be stacked in a vertical column so there you go you can see now we have arrived at a md device and the navigation also changes and now everything is stacked up vertically so let's see how it looks like so there you go you can see the logos also so there you go you can see all the team members also stacked up vertically and that's how our website looks like if you toggle this and if you want a mobile phone now this is for nexus 5x i can check for pixel 2 pixel 2 xl and this is how the website is going to look like now the text is kind of off over here let me inspect element what is happening okay so we did a mistake over here that we did not give it an abbreviation of md so we said call hyphen 9 we need to give it call md9 which will actually go to 12 after we come on a medium device right so we have to give the abbreviation also so coming to the code if you come over here in the about company section you can see i said call md3 but i said call hyphen 9 so i have to say md9 and now you can see the text is properly aligned and it is occupying the complete space you can see i changed the class so so this is a typing mistake sometimes that happens so make sure you make your classes proper so this is how your website will look like on a mobile phone and looks pretty neat and yeah so this is the complete about us section which looks pretty good on a website as well as a mobile phone because of bootstrap so yeah that's it for this video guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up do share it with your friends let me know in the comments how this video was if you have any queries you can always put them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video peace